Question 10, Lindsay Whittle. Uh, Joe Thel. So with, um, what action, Minister, is the Welsh Government taking to protect the Welsh language from further decline? Well, as a Government, we're committed to seeing the Welsh language thrive. Uh, the Welsh language strategy, the implementation of the Welsh language measure, the Welsh Media Education Strategy and the Framework for Welsh Language Services in Health and Social Services are clear, is clear evidence of that commitment. Thank you, Minister. The census uh, data shows a disturbing trend in the traditionally Welsh-speaking areas of Wales. Uh, Ceredigion and Cabalanshire were highlighted. To tackle the problem, I believe we need facts about why there is this disturbing trend. Minister, will your government initiate a review to discover whether this is perhaps due to the younger Welsh speakers speaking only English so that the Welsh language is no longer a living language, uh, or because of an influx of monoglot English speakers into the area, or is it the fact that Welsh-speaking jobs seekers are having to leave their homes to seek employment elsewhere. We need to know what action we need to take to reverse this decline. Well, I can tell a member I've already uh, met with the Welsh Language Commissioner uh, with a view to taking forward a uh, review process so we can understand what the issues are. I think uh, I've seen it often enough and I think the member is right to say that one of the issues is that young fluent Welsh speakers are not speaking to each other in Welsh and I've seen it many, many times. When you ask them why, they can't tell you. Uh, which makes it difficult then to try to address the, the problem. There are good examples uh, around Wales where uh, social spaces, to use that uh, word, whether it's um, online or physical space, have been used to promote the language amongst the young people. We need to know uh, why this is happening, and that's why I've asked the Welsh Language Commissioner to uh, consider the matter further. Mike Hedges. One of my concerns, which I know is shared by the First Minister, is the lack of Welsh spoken by teenage, teenage fluent Welsh speakers in urban South Wales. What is the Welsh Government doing to support Welsh language based organisations like Tour Tower in my constituency, provide traditional Welsh cultural events so the medium of Welsh to teenagers? Yes, we are supporting initiatives such as uh, Tour Tower by distributing grants to organisations that promote the use of Welsh in communities, such as the Mentor Iaith, the Air of the Young Farmers. Uh, also, of course, we look to mainstream the Welsh language into our work of supporting communities across Wales. But unless we crack the issue of use of the language amongst young people, then we will not be able to address the difficulties that the language faces. Paul Davis. In for the Vesle or Heruido Devnid, a Gumrag, a Diogelir, Gumrag, Rag, Diruiad, Peshach, a meat business, you drew severely shorter Gumrag, but they will be the business. A chusmeriad. Do in derbyn bod y gwnidog busnes wedi sefydlu grŵp gor, gorchwyl a gorffen i ystyried cysylltiadau rhwng yr iaith Gymraeg a datblygu economaidd. Yn yr ymgylchiadau, ydych chi'n cytuno byddai siarter fel hyn o fydd, a gallwch chi hefyd cael yn rhaid y mae un o'r pethau bydd y grŵp gorchwyl a gorffen yn ystyried. Dwi'n creu byddai o fydd, a mi'n bwys i'n lina cwsmeriad hefyd, dwi'n sylw byddai sawl busnes yn elwa o'r ffaith bod gyda nhw polisi cadarn yn lina defnydd o'r iaith Gymraeg yn defnyddio er enghlyft a rwyddion yn Gymraeg ar ben i busnesau. A dwi'n ddim yn digwydd yn aml iawn, hyd yn oed mewn ardal o'r lle mae'r Gymraeg yn iaith y mwyafrif yn ôl y sensws i hunan. So in rhywbeth, of course, sydd yn cadarnhau sefyllwyr iaith yn y byd busnes, byddwn nhw'n rhywbeth yn ei edrych i gefnogi.